On today's menu, an impressive recipe that will make you a pretty fun guy. Velvety miso, mushroom noodles. Lei Ho Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is incredibly easy to make, really delicious. Definitely the noodle recipe you'll want to make every single week. But before we get started, a big thank you to today's episode sponsor. Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is the monthly wine club that matches you with wine that you'll love. Take your taste palette quiz to see your personalized matches. You'll answer fun questions like, what's the one chocolate you could eat for the rest of your life? Or, what's your favorite wine pairing? For me, that's definitely the wild party. You can then relax while your beautiful wine box is delivered right to your door. Each personalized wine comes with an educational card that provides serving and pairing tips. Bright Cellars wines are sourced from around the world and sampled by their team of in-house sommeliers. Plus, there's no more wasting money buying the wrong wine for your taste because Bright Cellars' sophisticated algorithm learns more about your taste preferences with every wine you rate, making them a full personalized wine experience. Bright Cellars make it fun to buy wine without going into the wine shop and feel like you're playing darts while blindfolded and in a pitch black room. Get 60% off the first four bottle box using the link in the description box below. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Blender. Half cup cashews. One generous tablespoon miso paste. Miso paste is so incredibly fragrant that you should almost put it in a perfume bottle. Pinch of salt. Quarter teaspoon onion powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Pepper to taste. Half teaspoon toasted sesame oil. Half cup water. Cook the noodles to package instructions. About 170 grams would be good for one generous portion. Stir the pasta occasionally to keep them from sticking. Slice about 150 grams of shiitake mushrooms. You know when you're at the restaurant and you order a mushroom pasta and when it comes to you, there's just little specks of mushrooms. That's because when you cook the mushrooms, they shrink quite a bit. So even though you use quite a lot of mushrooms, it may actually look like there's not a lot in the final product. So I always like to use even more mushrooms. Look at all of these incredible mushrooms. This is going to be delicious. When the pasta is done, take half a cup of pasta water. Strain out the pasta and set aside. Pour the pasta water into the blender. Blend on high until liquefied. Just gonna set the sauce aside for now, but man, look how creamy this is. Set the cream sauce aside. Frying pan. Medium heat. One tablespoon white sesame seeds. Toast the seeds for about a minute. Set the seeds aside and place the pan back on medium heat. Mushrooms. Cook the mushrooms in the dry pan for about four to five minutes. Mm. 
drizzle of olive oil. Saute for a couple of minutes. Noodles. Cream sauce. Cook for another one to two minutes. If the cream gets too thick, add a little bit of water to thin it out. Add the sesame seeds and mix. Plate. Fresh cracked pepper. Grate over some dry shiitake mushroom to give it an extra lift of umami. You can now make this creamy miso mushroom noodles with absolute confidence. You can already tell that it's not just little specks of mushrooms in there because we added so many. Look at that. That is so creamy, so rich, and absolutely delicious. That creamy sauce really grabs on to those delicious al dente noodles. The fresh shiitake mushrooms, because we dry sauteed them, it gives it kind of a nutty flavor, as well as this really beautiful kind of umami, which complements and goes really well with that delicious, creamy, luscious cashew miso sauce and that miso paste is kind of like that hidden secret ingredient that brings everything all together it has that umami the little saltiness and even though you don't really see the miso you can definitely smell that beautiful aroma and the fragrance that comes from it the shiitake mushrooms just gives it that really nice texture and chewiness and you further flavor the sauce with the toasted sesame oil, which adds that delightful aroma, as well as from those toasted sesame seeds. You get a little bit of heat from the fresh cracked pepper, and of course the punch of flavor from the garlic powder, onion powder. The starch and the pasta water that we use to make the sauce also further thickens that creaminess that comes from the cashews. And boy, is that ever rich and creamy. It's dishes like this that gets me so excited about making food at home because it is packed with delicious flavors, umami, delightful textures, and extremely easy to put together. And those shavings from the dry shiitake mushrooms just add even more flavor and umami. Absolutely love it. Definitely check out that link for Bright Sellers in the description box below. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.